Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh! And welcome to GT Not Live, where today, very clearly, based on my dress, I hope you got the memo, it's formal day. Matt, I see that you're wearing your formal finest. I am. Full top hat. A full top hat I cane? have the headphones over it. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. I didn't know the headphones could stretch that far. I the got tail? You ones. didn't have to go full tails, Matt. Tails. Yes, like oh, tails. oh, like on my suit jacket. Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, the, it's actually it's long. I have like essentially a train. Yeah, right. Um, you're, you're practically putting on the Ritz. It's been getting in the way, actually. I understand. It's tough. <laughs> yeah. It's tough. But but I, I appreciate you going to the extra effort. I gotta outshine you. If if you need to take off the top hat, it's all right. I'm not. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Go for it. <laughs> it makes your job a little bit harder, though. I, you know. T Pain never took off the top hat. <laughs> It's, I mean, Pain is his middle name. In fact, it's his first name. Is T hyphen Pain? Uh huh. For that's still first name. It's like Mary hyphen Sue. That's all first name. Maybe. Yeah. So Pain is his first name. So he's yeah. His I, name is Pain. What's his? Hold on. I need to look up. His Don't worry. About it. No, I need to know his government name now. Okay. His government name. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, well, you do that. Let me explain why it's it's formal day here. Uh, so as part of the end of year festivities for Ali's school. Um, you know, the preschool that he's been going to, uh, the whole class put together a little tea party for all the parents to go to. So I, as soon as we rolled out of that, I, I rolled into filming. Uh, but each, each of us has our own individual, each family has their own individual table and the kid is responsible for doing every step of the process. So putting out the tablecloth and setting up the cups and, you know, Pour in the tea, bring the tea over, pour in the tea, asking if you want sugar, dropping in the sugar, like, ba 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 presenting the present, all this stuff. And uh, so it was it was a nice little formal day for us, and I didn't have time to change before we, we transitioned into this. So that's that's where I'm coming from. I think you look snazzy. Well, thank you. Spiffy, even. Spiffy. Oh, <laughs> let's not go too far. I do, I do strive for spiff. Um, I've been doing research. Okay, I'm glad um, that this is the one. I, I'm glad that a lot of times on this on this show, I'm like, hey Matt, can you do this? And you, you like roll your eyes. Or you're like kind of slow to do this. But this one, you're like, <laughs> team, I, this is a thing. L let me get. A, you're like a hacker in like a CBS procedural right now. <laughs> like, let me let me find the information that I need. Well, and I found it. Oh, okay, what did you um, learn? Well, so his his birth name is Fahim Rashad. Really? Um, which leads me neither tea nor pain exactly uh -huh. um, but he's from tallahassee is so it tallahassee pain yes Real, mm -hmm. really which is a great name tallahassee pain yeah. sounds like a wrestler it's it gives me like 70s like <laughs> cop oh i <laughs> i could see like someone starring in like chips or whatever yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> the highway police like tallahassee yeah. tallahassee pain exactly yeah uh-huh um, so the more you know. That, that's fascinating. <laughs> that's great. I love it, actually. The fact that it's... I'm kind of bummed that he goes by T-Pain, honestly. Tallahassee Pain. T-Pain yeah. for short. That's right. So, uh, but anyway, Ollie did a great job in his tea party. Uh, Steph and I were definitely the fun parents. Uh, I, I mean, look know. at your suit. Right? Well, Steph, I, I wore the fun jacket. Stephanie wore the, like, fun, but also, like, I'm the normal parent. <laughs> clothes yeah. so that way all the other parents weren't weirded out by us because i feel like other parents are very frequently weirded out by us i wonder why i don't know <laughs> and and on one hand you say that facetiously like yes. oh i can't imagine why other parents would be weirded out by you know those those wacky guys wearing like this and doing their internet stuff but like they don't know that yeah no one knows just the vibes who we weird. are or what we do yeah i i think one of the weird differentiators and and we see this a lot in events that we do with Ollie and other kids is like we play with the kids uh, like yeah. we will talk to the kids we'll you know pay attention like and and I don't know if it's just like parents wanting, wanting a break and hang out with other parents or if if it's like par for the course but for us you know when the parent when the kids come over and they're like hey let's let's play something like we'll play maybe not the whole time but like we'll play and it's like okay we got to go back and talk with whatever but 
it's it's weird. A lot of other parents are like, no, 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 go, go, go. Mm. And so I don't know if that puts a wall up. Do in they front think of us. that you're lame for playing with the kids? I I don't know. Yeah. Honestly. And and it's and it's weird too, because I, I do these events or we do like things with parents and you see the other like fathers getting together and talking about like like doing the things that you see dads do in yeah. movies, like testing out each other's golf clubs <laughs> in the backyard, and I'm and I'm like, are they doing this ironically <laughs> or unironically? Because because I feel like I've seen this in every dad movie, and they're like, swing it all has it got a good length to it? like good heft. I'm like, what world am I living in? That's a great question. Yeah, as somebody who is who is uh like mid thirties aged. Uh huh. When Wolf. when Wolf. do well Wolf. I guess this is a two parter. Do people decide to become their parents, <laughs> and and what year does that happen? Oh no! Well, I can tell you, uh, around thirty two to thirty four uh-huh. is when your metabolism hits a wall. <laughs> like that is that was true for me and for Steph. Okay, like in that window, just one day you're like I can't do that anymore. Mm. Um, Stephanie has apparently hit the wall where. She can't function off of four hours of sleep. Mm. That's I can still do that. Like okay. I can still go days and days and days with minimal sleep. Like I can still pull that off pretty well. Yeah. Uh, Steph struggles with that at this point, so I know that that window is when some of that stuff falls away. Um, as far as becoming your parents, uh, yeah, I like. Did they? Did those fellows decide that they were gonna go swing the? Like, do they? How much self awareness is involved? It, I, I, there's no self aware. I, I think there's no self awareness in general. I, I do think that that's a thing where you kind of like coast along, and maybe if you have some like self reflection, you like, you're like, oh, I did become them. But but I think most people just follow on their trajectory, mm. and then you're you're kind of set on your course, right? Mm. Like one of the weird things, and I think this might be one of the other things that sets us apart from the other parents is, I think we're the same. I don't. know. It's not like I'm going around being like, hey sir you know friend of you know father of so and so like how old are you like i don't know but i do know that steph and i look significantly younger than all the other parents Mm. and even like the teachers when like we had a teacher meeting age came up or something and and they're like oh we can't believe that you're that old (laughs) you know which is one is a punch in the gut it's like Mm. oh great thank you for telling me i'm I'm ready to jump off the mortal coil uh But two, well, at your old age, that's a compliment, though. Well, it's 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 simultaneously a compliment and yeah. also like a reminder that <laughs> death is quickly approaching. Totally, uh, it comes for us all, and the clock is running. Uh, <laughs> but um, but it's one of those things where yeah, but to be complimented, like oh, we couldn't tell that you're that old. Like that's nice. Um, so I wonder if that's a tipping point with the parents in some way. Uh, but. As far as, like, I go, right? Like, Steph and I have just been doing our... Th- you know, we've been running our race and making the decisions that we have to make. I don't know if there is some element of... yeah, and, and what Steph and I do, surprise, is so vastly different from what our parents could have even conceived of, right? You know, that's by nature of who we are and where we wound up. But, like, you know, I think a lot of people are doing something similar to either what their parents did maybe near where their parents were or working in similar industries, whatever it is. And I think maybe when enough of those variables start falling into like, you know, the same limited window of variability, it condenses down into like, okay, you're pretty much your parents. Time to go swing golf clubs in the backyard. Yeah. Time to swing golf clubs in the backyard. Although again, like to be fair, you know, I say that I'm vastly different from my parents, but I'm not like my parents Mm -hmm. are great with kids. Mm -hmm. Like they don't like sit. Hmm. Oh man, here we go. This is a self-realization <laughs> moment. It, they don't like sitting at the adults' table. Like right. they will actively seek out playing with the kids yeah. because it's more fun for them. Yeah, and it's you know, and it's more rewarding and enjoyable. They're like, well, I could sit around and complain and drink, or mm-hmm. I could play in the bounce house, or or I could play trucks and pretend and stuff. And I think like I feel that way too. So I guess in a lot of ways, like. I I have that instilled in me. Yeah, I guess, you know. So maybe I am my parents, even though I'm not. You know, like a, you know, I I, I travel and they don't really travel as much. But they tra- they travel in their own way, like they do like road trips and stuff. So maybe maybe there is some element of that. And maybe that's not that bad. No, right? Honestly. Yeah. And hey, if at the end of the day, right? Like if you 
are enjoying and happy with your life. It goes back to Stanley Parable, right? Mm-hmm. It's the, 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 what we were playing with Stanley Parable, where it's like, if you are happy with the life that you lead, is there anything inherently wrong with doing the routine or falling into those rhythms? Hmm. It's tough. It's, yeah. it's uh, again, and tying it all back to stuff that we've talked about, where it's like interesting versus comfortable or interesting mm-hmm. versus happy lifestyles. You know, where you set that bar and how much you're willing to push yourself out of your comfort zone to pursue an interesting life. You know, that's, that's another thing. So there's a lot at play. I like golf. I, I've never tested out a fellow parent's golf club, so. You know who's pretty good at golfing? Tallahassee Payne. <laughs> it is T-Pain good no. at golfing? He is a gamer. Th- wait, hold on, wait. He's like He's like a Twitch streamer now. Yeah, Tallahassee. Like, yeah, good old Tallahassee. Can we can we get in touch? Sure. It's, yeah. Okay. Sure. Why not? Can I use your name to, <laughs> to sure. get in touch? Whatever. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. What are we gonna do? We can game. I don't know. I don't know if he'll play. <laughs> I, I just sorry. <laughs> I, I looked up and saw what we were playing. <laughs> five. I don't know if Tallahassee Pain is really gonna be down for five nights at the Krusty Krab chapter. <laughs> I. I think we- <laughs> See, this is probably the true differentiator of us versus the other parents. Where, you know, we understand what the crust... Like, we understand the five things that have merged together to create the monstrosity that we're about to play here. Chapter three. Chapter three. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we're hopping into chapter three, by the, the way. The third installment. Why? We haven't done one or two. We could. We could backtrack. Okay. Oh, I figured... Well, so this is the most recent installment. Okay, yeah. Phil, okay, so that's <laughs> that's our, our philosophical discussion for the morning. Thank you all. This is... that. Thus ends my TED Talk. Uh, go figure out if you're your parents. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, fast forward 20 years and then tell us... Come back to this video. Yeah. Let us know if you became your parents. Um. Okay, so this is Five Nights at the Krusty Krab, Chapter 3. Chapter 3. The best of the chapters. Well, that's to be found out, <laughs> oh, I guess. Sure. I, I mean, it'll be the best as far as I'm concerned, because it's the only <laughs> that I've played. Um, this was a recent, recent, uh, not upload, but... Sure. You upload a game. Okay. You upload a game for other people to download it yeah. and play. Okay. Release? So, yeah. Release. You're looking for the word release? That is exactly the word. Publication? Yes. Sure. Um... So this is the third publication of okay. the installment of the series of the game. Oh, wow. <laughs> Man. Brevity. Brevity is your strong point this morning. Um, you can thank Daco for putting this on my radar. Oh, great. Okay. Um, he played it recently. Nice. Seemed lovely. Mm-hmm. Thought we'd have a great time. Okay. I also Seemed lovely. Seemed lovely. You don't hear too many FNAF fan games <laughs> that are described as lovely. How's the art style, Matt? That's what I care about. You're making fun of me. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm making fun of literally every person who has donned those headphones. Because apparently every single person who has donned those headphones has some strong opinion about the art styles of the game that we play. The art style is decent. Okay. Good. It's a... It's works a, the better. It's a Five Nights at Freddy's Spongebob <laughs> game. So take that how you will. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Um, were you a SpongeBob fan? No. Right. It was. I. I was phasing out of cartoons as SpongeBob started releasing. Like gotcha. I remember the launch of season one. Mm. I got the first episode. I is terrible in my opinion. Like I really did not enjoy the first episode. So Which it lost the me. First one. What's that? Which one's the first one? Uh, him blowing bubbles. Like that is that uh, is it. It's him doing wacky stunts and blowing yeah. bubbles. Like and and it was a it was a weak pilot as far as I was concerned. And so like I wasn't particularly interested in following it as I was kind of phasing out of cartoons anyway. Since I you know at this point we've gone back and like I've I've spot watched a lot of like the episodes that I should watch. I've been meaning if I have more free time, I've always wanted to go back and actually like watch more of it just to kind of like broaden my SpongeBob horizons. But there's right. also a lot of like newer. You know, I'm, I'm working my way through Owl House Season 2, mm. um, which I've been kind of slow to pick up. Uh, Adventure Time took me a while, but I got through that. Like, bit by bit, I've been trying to, like, regain a lot of that. Because there was that gap in, time, like, college and stuff where, like, you just have a gap in your knowledge. Because you're doing other things. Um, so I've been working on regaining a lot. Right now okay. I'm working on Paw Patrol. You know, but that's because of Ollie. You're so. a busy man. It's a lot. Yeah. There's a lot of quality content out there. Well, I can fill you in. Please. I consider myself a bit of a, an efficient author. Okay, great. When it comes to Bob. Yeah. Mr. Bob. Yeah. Mr. Sponge. This, well, 
SpongeBob, Mr. Pants. Which it would one, actually be. Which one's his first name? SpongeBob. SpongeBob. <laughs> Even I know this. Okay. SpongeBob, one unit. Fair Square enough. Pants, one unit. Okay. So it's Mr. Square Pants. Mm-hmm. Right. Cool. Great. Yeah. So should we play the game? <laughs> yeah, I think so. So so we're doing three just because it's recent and Daco played it? Correct. Okay. okay. <laughs> and if we like it, we'll play one and two? You got it. Okay. Or if the internet's like, hey, you should play one and two first. I do. I think. Are we going to be confused about the lore here? Perhaps. I think that there is some sort of story. Oh, man. There's going to be some, like, animatronic that's been, like, brought back to life. Well, so it's unclear as to why. I don't know the lore of SpongeBob animatronics! <laughs> So that's the thing is it's unclear as to whether or not the lore is SpongeBob based or FNAF based or or this series specifically. Yeah, great. Well, okay, I come in with the FNAF knowledge. Yeah. You come in with the SpongeBob knowledge. Yeah, we'll split it down the middle. We'll split it down the middle. Perfect. Okay, sounds good. All right, Five Nights at the Crusty Crab, Chapter 3. <laughs> great. Uh, okay, real quick, the, I'm, this is SpongeBob. It looks like he seems yellow. But he also see him having a claw, which would seem like it's Mr. Krabs. Right? Who's this? That's my question. Let me let me move you out of the way. Mr. And maybe it's just that it's too bright over there? What is oh. that? Do you know who that is? Who are you? I'm not recognizing the silhouette. So we can just play it, I guess. Yeah, none of the characters, as far as I know, have hands like that. Of course they don't have hands like that, Matt. It's, it's an animatronic claw. Well, yeah, but like... If I would it's... focus more on the... Um, <laughs> it's, it's for the spookies. But if it's Spongebob... <laughs> it's for the spookies, man. They took an existing character, presumably, and they made them have a claw for the spooky... You, you, you see how this... Guess what? The, the spooky Dora the Explorer game that we played? D Dora the Explorer is not a serial killer. Well... You We're, haven't written that theory yet. I haven't written that theory. Give me the time. <laughs> it's true. All right, let's 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 play this game and see who this is. <laughs> I'm sad that I never got to meet you in person. Oh, there's already war. Not under good circumstances, at least. Okay. Wow. Starting off strong. Oh, we're going to be so confused, Matt. What have we done to ourselves? Ooh, this is very artfully done. <laughs> also, it says a lot. That I made it ready. As much as I would like to stop this, my mind and body are no longer my own. They belong to him now. I cannot help but revel in the immense strength I have been given. Five Nights at the Krusty Krab cubed. It's not three. It's an exponent. Five Nights at the Krusty Krab cubed. <laughs> Going three-dimensional now. It says a lot that Five Nights at Freddy's fan games have better cutscenes <laughs> than the actual games. <laughs> what does that tell you? Oh, man. Oh, there's all sorts of... Matt, there's all sorts of mechanics that we don't know. Well, it's, it's night one. I'm sure we'll figure them out. <laughs> Cams, monitors, coolant, power usage, got wires, spares, drawer. Okay, we get. Okay, just collect it. Okay, two at a time, I guess. Hello. Hi. Hmm. Oh wait, here's a here's a tape player. Can I pl can I play the tape? <laughs> I can open it. It's one o'clock. Surviving somehow. Here, let's flip a thing. Okay, we need one of those. Flip. Aha! Educational tape is classified and restricted for viewing only by authorized personnel. Okay. 
I like that the battery powered cassette player required me to turn on the lights. If you're watching this video, oh no, it's TV. Engineer aboard one of the United States finest Type 63 Zachary nuclear power stations. The purpose of this and other installations like it is to provide the American Navy fleet with the energy and munitions during potential long voyages to engage in battles in I enemy not expect there to be. The existence of this installation is considered to be highly classified and should never be disclosed to anyone not designated by your commanding officer or the President of the United States. Punishment so. for breaking this oath of secrecy is, well, I'm sure you know. Your primary duty here is to ensure nothing goes awry with the power station. The entire system has been perfected by the finest engineers to require zero operator input to maintain functionality. So kick back, unless you see something out of the ordinary, such as a Class E event, as detailed in Section 6, Paragraph 2 of your handbook. You have been budgeted a limited amount of electricity to power your workstation, and whatever approved equipment you have brought with you, such as televisions and portable music players, the allotted power is recharged by the reactor as normal, but runs off a separate circuit. The batteries that recharge your personal power supply will recharge automatically when the breaker switch next to the fuse box is thrown. So remember to do that before bed, or else you'll wake up without lights. Addendum. While previously you were not required to engage unless a suitably catastrophic failure or anomaly occurred, a recent Class E event in which had caused severe damage to the cables supplying the reactor's coolant pump with power. Due to a shortage, we have had to patch the coolant pump into your personal power supply, which may increase the load onto that circuit. We ask you please be mindful of this unfortunate change and do not shirk this responsibility. If the reactor goes into meltdown, you or your family will be held accountable and charged with sabotaging the war effort. The war effort? End addendum. Thank you, Cadet. And feel proud that you are doing an imperative part on the ongoing war. America salutes you. Huh. That's a thing. That's a thing. So, okay. It was a bit, uh... It was a bit hard to tell because of the old-timey, like, sound of everything. But we're, we're part of a war, part of the war effort? That's, that's what I picked up as well. Okay. And we've got this... Okay, so there's an... Okay, there's an animatronic there. What's this do? No, I gotta do some... Hall lights? Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh! Oh, jeez, and that's just a... Oh, no, and now he's here. Uh, what? What? Why, why won't he go away? Okay, it's, oh, it's, it's recharge. Okay, so it, they did mention that it, like, manually recharge, or it, uh, recharges. That's nice. So, how, wait, how do I get rid of this thing, though? How, how, do, how do I get rid of him? I, I would like to get rid of him, please. Oh! Okay. <laughs> what? Oh, no! They are terrifying! And he's still here! Wait, we need coolant. Coolant. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, so he's hanging out, living his best life, doing stuff. I don't exactly know. Okay, he's gone. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but okay, sure. Sh sure. Oh my gosh. This is wild, Matt. This is really cool. Oh, holy... Wow! I think that was Squidward? Okay, yeah, there, I, there's a lot. There's a lot of questions right now. Okay. <sighs> wow. 
So, we saw what I, I, right? I, I don't even know what that was. You're, you're my SpongeBob expert. I, I, I believe that was Squidward. Like really? A robotic. But he's got like horns or something off of his head. Oh yeah, Squid. Oh, yeah. Really? He doesn't even. He's pretty smooth. Well, he's a robot. <laughs> okay, sure. And then we saw what was like SpongeBob. I think and, it, was, it was pink. Well, it looked like it was almost like a SpongeBob Mr. Krabs hybrid, mm. almost like because it scurried away like a crab, the, yeah. but it was yellow on top. Right. I don't know. This is crazy. <laughs> this is this is crazy, Matt. I am immediately. Here's the thing. Okay, peek behind the curtain. Peek behind the curtain, right? Um, you know, Matt picks stuff. That's fine. But, like, for me, it's one of those things that, like, you get probably, like, two or three attempts before I'm like, oh, that was really good or that was really bad. This immediately catches my attention. Mm. Like, like if you're a game developer, I think this is a really good example to look at and say, like, okay, what about my game is going to capture... In a very crowded market where there's a lot of things, especially if we're talking about, like, Five Nights at Freddy's fan games, what is going to immediately differentiate me? Obvious polish, right? Very clear attention to the story, which, you know, granted I didn't catch it all because it's a little bit uh, layered and I was trying to figure stuff out. But, like, you know, very clearly building out a world here. But also, the mechanic, like, immediately this catches my eye because it's so smooth, so polished. And it's getting me asking questions. But also I feel like I lost because of myself. Like, it didn't feel unfair. It was like, oh, I just, I'm still figuring out all this stuff. Immediately catches my attention. I am very excited about this now. This is great. Yeah. Good, good one. Good one. Thanks. I picked it. Good one, Daco. <laughs> Thank you, Daco, for helping out our programming. Okay. And now, look, we figured it out. So this thing's sparking. Oh, and I see now that they're telegraphing it to us. So it's like, hey, give it, get a chance to look around. It's sparking. So you get to explore. You learn. Go back to fuse box. Put it in. Charge. Okay, I want to listen to this again. See if you can get more out of it this time. Can you turn and look at it? This is close I can get. If you watch right this video, yeah. then you must be an engineer aboard one of the United States finest Type 63 submarine nuclear power stations. Okay, I'm aboard a nuclear power station. And other installations like it is to provide the American Navy fleet with the energy and munitions during potential long voyages to engage in battles in okay. enemy waters. The existence of this installation is considered to be highly classified and should never be disclosed to anyone. Okay, don't tell anyone. I see the officer or the president of the United States. Punishment for breaking this oath of secrecy is, well, I'm sure you know. I'm sure. Your primary duty here is to ensure nothing goes awry with the power station. Okay. The entire system has been perfected by the finest engineers to require zero operator input to maintain functionality. So kick back. Unless you see something out of the ordinary, such okay. as a Class E event, as detailed in Section 6, Paragraph 2. Okay, Class E events. You have been budgeted a limited amount of electricity to power your workstation, and whatever approved equipment you have brought with you, such as televisions and portable music players, the allotted power is recharged by the reactor as normal, but runs off a separate circuit. The batteries that recharge your personal power supply will recharge automatically when the breaker switch next to the fuse box is thrown. So remember to do that before bed, or else you'll wake up without lights. Addendum. While previously you were not required to engage unless a suitably catastrophic failure or anomaly occurred, a recent Class E event in which had caused severe damage to the cables supplying the reactor's coolant pump with power. Due to a shortage, we have had to patch the coolant pump into your personal power supply, which may increase the load onto that circuit. We ask you please be mindful of this unfortunate change and do not share this responsibility. If the reactor goes into meltdown, you or your family will be held accountable and charged with sabotaging the war effort. End addendum. Thank you, Cadet, and feel proud that you are doing an imperative part on the ongoing war. America salutes you. Okay. So it's interesting. Cam three. 
Okay, that's too early. So when they leave, so he's in here with me now, right? There he is. Okay. So when they leave is when I need to be worried. Okay. So I need to watch them leave and get into my area to flash them away. The middle camera is the only one that has this button pop open. I don't know what it means or what it does, but now we know. That if I want to do anything with that, it's the middle. I'm not seeing that other guy. It made me a little bit nervous. I'm going to flash it just in case. Okay, didn't need to flash it. We're going to turn off hall lights because we don't need those charging just yet. We only need one at a time. Cool and starting. Ooh, there he is. Okay. He's hanging out and he's gone. Nope. Go, 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 go. Oh, that takes a long time. Oh! What is that thing? That is not Squidward. There's no way that's Squidward. <laughs> it's maybe, maybe they came up with a new thing. Maybe it's a Plankton bot. Maybe Plankton created a like evil robot or something. I think it's Squidward. You think so? Yeah. Like a like a scary mangled version of a, a mangle. <laughs> okay. The following okay. educational tape is classified and restricted for viewing only by authorized. We're gonna skip. We're just gonna sit here for a minute. Just hang out. So we're on a boat. So we're on a boat. It's a nuclear, uh, like. I think it's nuclear. Nuclear. Not nuclear. That's a joke. Nuclear. I think that's a Simpsons bit. Nuclear. Right? Stephanie used to give me a hard... I used to pronounce it nuclear. Yeah. And then she's like, it's not nuclear. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. And then that's one I've always been very conscious of. Right. So, I'm doing my best here. So we're on a right. nuclear submarine. Yeah, nuclear submarine. <laughs> yeah. And there's been a Class E event, apparently. So that's good to know. That's very concerning. E for effort. E for emergency, probably. Oh. I, I would. <laughs> yeah, E for effort. Let's say that. What happens when you press that button? I mean, this is the reactor core. What did that do? Oh, it fried one of these guys. Huh. That's interesting. That did things I didn't expect it to. Was that a net good or a net negative? I think that might come in handy. Right? As a, like, nuke everything kind of button? Well, I think that specifically is for that room. Like, I think if something is in there... Is in there, you just have to... Mm -hmm. Coolant pump. It did... Re it seemed like it recharged our... Our energy quite quickly. Like, after we decimated everything. Is that something I should be worried about? Or is that just reflection? Man, power drops. When you're on a boat, man, power drops fast. It's almost like boats aren't, aren't designed to do this. I hate boats. I'm so sorry. Really? What's wrong with boats? I don't know. I, I'm terrified of the ocean. Really? Yeah. Oh, the ocean is great. The ocean is so infinite, and you can just like explore everywhere. It's no. so it's so awesome. If I want infinity, I'm going to outer space. Oh, get out of here, outer space. I think space is way cooler than the ocean. Uh, in concept, it seems cooler, but it's more claustrophobic, and less like. I disagree. Than a, than being on a boat. I'd be way more scared to be deep sea than outer space. Like, are you saying under the sea? Yeah. Well, yeah, under the sea, but when you're on a boat, you're not under the sea, you're on top of a boat. Well, we're on a submarine. Sure. Which is a boat. Well, okay, submarine and boat are different. Is a submarine not a type of boat? I believe a submarine is a type of boat, but to say that... Okay, here, I gotta watch this guy, otherwise he's gonna kill me. I'd like to get past night one. Okay. Great. Not seeing anyone else. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna recharge here for a second. 
Do, 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 do. Yeah, a boat can be any number of, of different, you know, vehicles. Ooh, hello. So now we've got whatever this sponge crab is on the move. That's an event. Okay, cool it off. Sponge crab. But like, think about it. On a boat, like, like a normal boat, not a submarine. Submarine is a little... That's concerning. Getting all up in my face. That seems uncalled for, to be honest. Just gonna recharge. Um, to be honest, like, it, when you're in space, you can't get out. Like, you are stuck in whatever vessel you're in, right? Yeah, but the ocean is the same. I mean, a submarine is the same. Ocean, you can stand on the deck of the boat. You can hop on a teeny boat. <laughs> Disagree. I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> Incorrect. Where did he come from, Matt? I, I think we're missing something. Right? It seems like we might be missing something. Because he was not anywhere close to me at that. Like, we've seen every other time that he's gotten in. Right. Hmm. Could have to do with the vent. What? The vent. I thought I, thought I was checking the vent. I feel like I was checking everything fair, fairly thoroughly. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to use the power recharge because... We're in a good spot right now. Here. All right. Let's try this again. Okay. So we got a little bit of time to discuss. Boats. Ver so space. I like space. I think space is really cool. I think there's a lot of potential in space. I also think space is terrifying. Just because it's one of those things where you are stuck in whatever tin can is floating through it. Like... You can't go out on the deck and be like, do, 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 do. I'm just getting fresh air right now because there is no fresh air. It's all recirculated. I think, like, more deep sea. I think that the debate is deep sea versus okay. ocean. Okay, deep um, sea. I I'm see. also scared of open water, mm -hmm. but I think that's a different beast entirely. That is that is different, mm -hmm. yes. Because that's like, like isolation versus yeah. like death. No, I will say, to your point about there being, um, about like submarine. I, I think submarine versus space, mm -hmm. much more accurate comparison. Yeah. Cause you can't leave. You're like, in a vacuum tube. Yeah, you are, in, you are in as much air as you're basically getting at that yeah. point. And if systems fail, you're stuck, right? Yeah. So that I, that I will agree with. Which would you rather be? <sighs> which would I rather be? I mean, in space you get to see space, which is cool. Yeah. That's true. Under the water, though? Here's the thing. Under the water, if things go wrong, you have, like, a chance at swimming to the surface. I don't think that's true. I think the pressure would crush your bones immediately. Oh, I mean, how deep are we talking underwater? Well, if you're in a submarine. Oh, you could be under a submarine, like, you know. You mean the submarine doing whatever. I think the deep sea qualifies... As enough pressure to break your bones. Hmm. But if the submarine has ruptured. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. If the submarine has ruptured. I think you get sucked out like spaghetti. Sucked out like spaghetti? Wow. <laughs> like one of those Play Doh, like, hair <laughs> things. <laughs> yeah, where you squish it down and go, <laughs> the extrusion machine. Yeah, I think the second something punctures, it's just done. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. There, I don't have any science to back that up, but that's just, like, my gut feeling. But doesn't space do the same thing? Yeah. And I mean, that's again, why they're without science to back it up. Yeah. Okay, so there's our friend. There's our friend, the one who kills us. Wasn't it nice that first night when we, like, did decently well? And we were almost, like, done with the night? So I'm not seeing him anymore. That concerns me. Did he jump all the way? Where, where is he at? I flash? See, he's not there, and that just killed all my power. Okay, there he is. And at this point, I want to keep the power. Okay, there he is. So now we're going to wait. Nope, he's still there. Psych! 
wait for it. You could check other things. But I know that you're like my biggest threat right now. Okay, there he goes. Where's my little crab bot? Crab bot's hanging out. Okay, he's back on the move. Core temperature's getting high. Don't love that. Just gonna slow that down here a second. Hopefully my power holds out. That'd be nice. That'd make me feel better about my life. Okay, there he is. Okay, he's hanging out still. Hopefully he moves in quickly. But not too quickly. But quickly, because I'm running out. I'm 20% power. Not great. Not a good situation right now. Still not a good situation right now. Would love for him to move. Okay, I heard something fail. Be sad. I heard, I heard a sad sound elsewhere. Okay, he's coming again, so I need to charge this up a little bit. Should be enough, right? Sure, sure, we'll say yes. Is he in? Oh no, there he is, okay. Wow, he is aggressive! He's an aggressive boy! Hopefully this ends at 6 o'clock. That'd be great. It does! All right! <laughs> wow! Night one! Mmm! I think submarine, because the devil you know beats the devil you don't. And I think floating around in space and like having my body drift endlessly into the open void is kind of scary. Hmm. There's also so many other, it feels like there's so many extra points of failure in space. Because mm -hmm. it's such a more hostile environment, I feel like, than, than the water. Hmm. Like, I'm comfortable going scuba diving. Mm -hmm. Like, I think scuba diving is really cool and really fun. And, like, being underwater is very peaceful and serene. Mm. But, yeah. And, and considering that both methods of death are largely the same yeah which is you are basically the equivalent of drowning like if, if you're dying in the vacuum of space it's largely the same thing right your your lungs are filling with like fluid like your whole body's like exploding it's terrible it's, it's horrific so to me yeah i think so plus plus also like on one hand yeah you're seeing a really cool shot of the earth which to be fair that's amazing like i i would love to get a chance to see that viewpoint but underwater's got really wacky stuff. You got like all these weird fish and vents and that's, Earth is pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Earth is rad. Mm -hmm. You know, whereas space, once you've seen like, okay, there's the blue orb and you marvel at it for a while, mm -hmm. it's like, okay. Hmm. I was like, maybe a fish, I could like follow a fish. There's an angler fish or like, ooh, there's an undersea volcano. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's the Titanic. Yeah. Drive around, see the Titanic. <laughs> hey, if it's good enough for James Cameron. Yeah. It's good enough for me. You excited for Avatar 2? Is anyone? I am. We'll, we'll talk. Uh, are you? Are you? For someone who does not care about anything mainstream or blockbuster, you are excited for Avatar 2. I saw Avatar 1 in theaters like three times. <laughs> and is that why you don't go to see mainstream movies anymore? Or I think Avatar 1 is a good movie. Mm -hmm. And I'll fight anybody who disagrees. No, it, it is a good movie. I think it's, in fact, kind of a great movie. Wow. I would venture to say. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I would say, okay. It's long. It's long. Yeah. And and here's the thing. It's revolution. The 3D effects on it were gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Like, James Cameron makes beautiful movies. Like, yeah. he pushes the limit of what it means to be a filmmaker, which I appreciate. Mm -hmm. The movie itself, it's fine. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Like, I think the world it creates it's is incredible. Is incredible. I think yeah. I think from a movie and a, from a narrative standpoint, forgettable. Fine. Yeah. Whatever. The world mm -hmm. unbelievable. Yeah. And that's why to me the most exciting thing about Avatar the movie series is going to Disney World and going to World Worlds of Pandora yeah. in the Animal Kingdom where that's fantastic. Yeah. It's so Cool. That's a genius movie. It's also the only, like, it's one of the only two reasons to go to Animal Kingdom. Like, mm. you know, there's the safari, and then there's going to Pandora. But Pandora is great. And the way that the Imagineers have recreated this alien world, and you get to explore, it's so cool. Yeah. So cool. I love that.
But not the movie Avatar 2. We'll see. You know, I don't know. I'm curious. I'm cu- I'm cu- Here's the thing. I'm curious. Yeah. Like, will I see it? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and, you know, like, I, I here's the thing. I think it'll be better than the first one. Mm. Because I would expect that knowing that they're going back to it and having to do another one, they're like, well, we can't really lean on the visuals this time again. So we got to kind of boost up the story chops hmm. a little bit. So I'm yep. hoping that they'll boost up the story chops a little okay. bit. That being said, it is mostly underwater, or like the focus underwater, mm. which is simultaneously exciting, but yeah. also underwater things are tough narratively. Yeah. Especially if you're creatures that like stay on the surface. I don't know. We'll see. Here, let's let's learn more about the Krusty Krab and then we can talk more about Avatar. Because guess what? I'm not going to do this the first time. Spoiler alert. The following educational tape is classified and restricted for viewing only by authorized personnel. Only by authorized personnel. Okay. This is a I love this. Oh no. This is believed to have been caused by a batch of shoddy rivets used to hold the paneling together. Okay. It's heavily advised to keep an eye on ventilation shafts due to the risk of causing another class E event. So the location will be fitted with a camera in the vents. While we can assure you that a class E event is unlikely, we okay. still ask you check the ventilation from time to time. Investigate any strange noises you hear. Thank you, Cadet. Okay. I feel proud that you are doing an imperative part in the ongoing war. America salutes you. Oh, America salutes me. I'm doing my part by keeping cartoon-themed undersea animatronics at bay. I'm glad I can serve America proud in this in this situation. This is this is how I was always meant to serve my country, let's be honest. This this was the role that I was born to play. Alright, here he comes. Our our dear friend. I will say the subtle mechanic teaching is great. The fact that this is starting, night one started all black and you had to figure out how to turn things on. Night two starts with the cameras and, ooh, emergency mother-in-law mode, what? Okay, well, cool. Emergency mother-in-law mode. Do I need to let this go? Can I X out of it? What am I, what? Do I need to let this just play out? What? <laughs> Oh, I'm dead. Something is dead. <laughs> I'm so confused. So mother-in-law mode, not good. Which honestly, it should have been the, the immediate red flag. Oh, mother in law no one likes their mother-in-law. My mother-in-law is delightful, by the way. She's a wonderful woman, so no no complaints there. However, knowing the stereotypes, I should have known, like, oh, that's so, bad news. Are you familiar with Karen, the computer wife? Yes. Okay. Yes. So okay. I'm assuming that that's what the reference that's, is. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out why. Why it's here? Is Karen our mother-in-law? Mm. Are, are we planked in? Oh! And, and Karen's computer mom. That's interesting. Right. Lore! Uh, that's, that's a great point, actually. Right? Because mother-in-law implies some level of relation here. Right. Hmm. That's also, a good... the person that, that attacked us had a chum bucket. The, the, I was going to say, the chum, I noticed the chum bucket head. Mm-hmm. Which, I on one hand, I really appreciate the reference. On the other hand... Twasn't very scary. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's got a bucket. Or a pail. Or a pail. Or a pail. Yeah. Bucket or pail. <laughs> you, you never can tell with those sorts of things, you know? Well, it's not the chum pail. But it could be. I guess. As, as we've previously established <laughs> yeah. in the continuity of this series, Matt, it could be the bucket or the pail. Yeah, the chum pail. The chum pail. Totally. It doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Yeah. Come to the jump pail, kids. It's like how Hardee's is also Carl Jr. Yeah, Yeah. that's true. You've got the chum bucket and the chum chum pail. The chum pail. It's it's the East Coast, West Coast thing. Exactly. Yeah. 
It's true. <laughs> the jump hand. Yeah, not not the same ring to it by any means. Certainly not. Okay, check the vents. I'm I'm working on it. Okay. Here we're gonna fire up the coolants because why not? Just to chill it off here a little bit before things get kind of crazy. So what am I supposed to do with the vents? Do we do we have an idea of what we're gonna do when the we get attacked in the vent? Any any sort of expectations there? What do we think? What do you typically do in these games? Usually there's like a shut the vent option or a, you know, like attack the vent kind of thing. Oh, hello. There he goes. There he goes! But here, in which... Maybe you pull them in with the reactor core? Because the reactor core and the vent seem to be connected. You'll notice. See? Oh. So maybe it's a reactor core thing. That would make sense. Right? That would be my guess. Also, I need to charge this up. So I'm noticing that our, our dear friend Squidward, if, if that is indeed who he is, which... Oh, no. Wait. Exp sh wait. Do we miss mother-in-law mode? Or does this just appear at... Okay, here he is. Okay. This is this exposure warning. Okay, wait, wait for it. There he is. Wow. You are, you are super aggressive, man. Come on, dude. Just chill out. Give me a break. I'm just I'm just a guy trying to do his patron patriotic duty to his country by protecting us from evil animatronics. Okay, there's something in here now. Should I fire this thing off? What do we think? Like he's there. Like I definitely see him. It's a little bit concerning. Oh my gosh, and he's here too. It's the party. Hey, there's Squidward. Ooh, and another ball. Oh, man, it's a party now. And I'm hearing stuff. Okay. Got a lot going on right now. It's starting to get hot, too. Okay, he's close. But he's not going through yet. He's still there. Great. This is, this is a win. He's gone. Oh, shoot. Shoot, oh, darn it, he's, I'm dead. I thought these were active, I'm dead, sorry. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah. He look, he look, yeah, I guess he's a squid, kind of. He's got... Squid-ish. He's got a lot of eyes. Wait, so what just, what went wrong? What happened? What did, yeah, let's, let's assess. Cause the, you lost power? Right? Apparently so. Why? I don't know. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm also not sure why my door lights weren't at because I never unflipped them. Mm. To my to my knowledge. Mm -hmm. So so when I went to use them, I was surprised that they were not ready to go. Not sure, honestly. Hmm. So it seems like exposure just shows up at some point around 2 a.m. to indicate, I guess that's mother-in-law mode, right? Which we didn't see at all. Mm -hmm. We still don't know what to do with the vents. Yeah. Because that guy didn't crawl through the vents. We're kind of worse off. Yeah, that one didn't help. <laughs> yeah. That one didn't help. I think we tried again. We're making pro, we're learning. Gaming is a learning process, Matt. The following education. Okay. Let me double check. Hull lights are on cam. I think this is a good policy to have. Hull lights and cam monitors together. I think that is the game telling us, be smart, put on both of these at the same time. So I, I'm going to agree with them on their assessment. Now, as far as... Right, it must, it must be firing the reactor core. What else would it be? 
I'm just trying to think if there's any other mechanic in here that would stop the vents. But there's nothing like look up, because the other alternative is like, there's something above us that we have to activate. That doesn't seem to be the case. Also, kudos to my hot chocolate or coffee or whatever you want to call this. The fact that it's staying this warm for literally six hours of my job, it's pretty impressive. They've got one of those USB coffee warmers. Oh, quality. See, US military taking care of us, I guess. Okay, here, here comes our boy. We are still all good on our switches being active. He's gone. No, he's gone. He's here. He's gone. Okay. Just gonna recharge this for a minute. Feel like that's important. I just jump scared two of them. I like that they're scared of the lights. Flip on some coolant. We can find where our friend's at. Are they literally anywhere? They are nowhere to be found. No one in the vents. Great, everyone's just gone. Fantastic. Yeah, let's turn that off. That coolant sucks. Hmm. Does it just ra does it just randomly sh it maybe it just randomly shuts off. Cause that that was weird. I did nothing there. So now the game's just trolling us at this point. The game's just like, okay, here's here's this thing. Should I, should I try three? Yeah. <laughs> we'll find out. Sure. Nope, he's definitely still there. He is unfazed. Okay, that's in the vent. He's in the vent. Uh, oh wait, mother-in-law mode, there. Here, let's fire it off now. Now seems to be the time. We'll see how that did. Oh geez, did we replace both? Jeez. How's it? Nope, that's okay. So we have established that three does nothing. Good to know. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so by process of elimination, firing off a massive nuclear or nuclear reactor in response to a small thing crawling through a vent, yep. not gonna work. <laughs> not effective in the slightest. <laughs> oh no. What do we do? Well, I, but, okay, yeah. so we did learn a couple things. Uh -huh. Mother-in-law mode was on other monitors. Yes. So we, we walk away with that knowledge. We also walk away with the knowledge that the reactor we are misusing horrendously. <laughs> So, that's a thing that exists. Uh, other than that, I don't know. What else we got, Matt? The vent thing. I... I, I I don't know. Yeah. Should we listen to the tape one more time? Sure. And see if the vent... Because they said, watch the vent, watch the vent. But they didn't actively say, like... Maybe it's just, we watch the vent to stall. Maybe this is like a Freddy Fazbear. So in FNAF 1, Freddy Fazbear, right? You can't really fight him. Mm -hmm. You just have to slow him down mm. by watching the camera that he's mm. on. So maybe that's what it is. is okay. The vent becomes our default. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what it is. Okay. Let's try that. That's going to be our new... Our new I think we give it all in all one more good go. I was going to say one more good go. Yeah. Okay. Five, five videos <laughs> at Krusty Krabs. Turn this thing on the This is a bulletin intended for engineers aboard Type 63 nuclear power station. 
recently find have had issues with pinhole leaks in the ventilation shafts. Okay. This is believed to have been caused by a batch of shoddy rivets used to hold the paneling together. It is okay. heavily advised to keep an eye on ventilation shafts due to the risk of causing another Class E event. So the location will be fitted with a camera in the vents. While okay. we can assure you that a Class E event is unlikely, we still ask you to check the ventilation from time to time and investigate any strange noises you hear. Thank you, Cadet. And feel proud that you are doing an imperative part in the ongoing war. Okay. America salutes you. Investigate strange noises. So watch it and investigate strange noises is basically what the takeaway of that whole thing was. So we should hear it moving. And it does seem to be tied to watching. So let's see. We'll see. Has there always been this like acoustic music? Right? Where's the acoustic <laughs> sound coming from? I, I was noticing that too. I'm like, why is there music all of a sudden? <laughs> right? Where did this come from? Okay, he's there. The game's like, you seem stressed. Right. Game's like, hey, you've lost on this level a lot of times. Maybe you should be better. I'm gonna give you some chill vibes. Lo-fi music that you can study to. Please, someone, move. Thanks. Okay, he's hanging out now. He's hanging out. So that, so you hear, actually, you can hear a whenever they're close. I don't know if you've heard that, Matt. Um, I didn't connect that that is what that is. It seems like that might be what it is. Core temp is very hot right now. There's definitely something laughing in my room. No, shoot, 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 shoot. Go, 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 move, move. Yes, oh my gosh, thank goodness. Oh, are these the things that have killed us? Squidward and Buckethead. Oh, and it's only when it's dark. Oh, that's wacky. Oh, the figurines that kill us only show up at, at in, when the power is being rebooted. That's crazy. That, that's a really cool detail. That's a really cool detail. That's really subtle too. I'm like, well, why am I not seeing these all the time? That's great. Oh man. Okay. I'm gonna try to stall you. Again, I'm, I'm watching you. It always feels like somebody's watching me, Rockwell. Okay, so he's coming from there. Well, he's here. So watching him, it's four. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. There he is. And you could hear it. I'm gonna try to spare my power a little bit here. I mean, he's right here. I have no idea what to do with him in this moment. <laughs> the music feels romantic. It does, it's, it's, it's cute. Maybe we just stare into his eyes. <laughs> nope. Oh, hey, evil SpongeBob. No, I'm done. I think you need batteries. No, it's I, I can't. Oh. Huh. Huh. 
Core temp is getting very high. Sure. <laughs> oh, this is concerning. This is real bad. This is not a good situation, friends. What am I doing with you? What do you want from me? What do you want? I don't know. Leave me alone. What is the point? Is it like if I if he's not on screen and he like jump he'll jump scare me? <laughs> I don't know. We still don't know. I think we just have to watch him so he doesn't kill us. <laughs> hey, we did it. We did it. I'll take it. It wasn't beautiful by any means. It wasn't elegant. Scraped by by the skin of our teeth, but I'll take it. <sighs> hey, good call on the you need a battery. Thank wait, you. wait, wait to see that one because I'm like, it won't flip. <laughs> Why won't it flip? I thought it was uh, one of those Balloon Boy situations where, because in Balloon Boy, or in Balloon Boy, in FNAF, when Balloon Boy's in the room, you can't flip things anymore. Oh. So, seeing that I couldn't flip things anymore, well, all Balloon Boy's saying it, but you're totally you right. You like, accepted defeat. Yeah, I would accepted defeat at that point. But, you're right, that there was a battery missing. So, maybe he steals batteries? Yeah, yeah. Could be. Maybe he doesn't kill you, but he just trolls you? Hmm. It's also unclear what he is even right some sort of yeah i don't know spongebob themed animatronic right so we've seen evil squidward figurine evil bucket head yeah chum pale mm -hmm. figurine yes and evil squidward figurine yeah mm. i think that's spongebob in the vent you think it's spongebob in the vent like if spongebob were like a four-legged animal yeah if spongebob was like mixed if with he were like crab quad yeah Quadrupedal, quad, yeah. a quadruped. Yes. Yeah. Huh? Maybe. I guess we'll have to find out next time on Five Nights at the Krusty Krab Chapter Three, Part One, Part Two. It'll be Part Two at that point. This was fun. This is very fun, and it makes me eager to check out Chapters One and Two. So let me know down in the comments below how those versions are, because, uh, like I said, we we're hopping into this midstream. Uh, cause Matt was feeling feisty, but hey, if one and two are worth checking out, even if they are a little bit rougher, cause you know, they're earlier in, the, in this designer's process, that's totally fine. Uh, but I'm, I'm curious. This, this has gotten enough of my curiosity that I'm excited to see more from this. So, um, let me know down in the comments below what you think and what you think all these animatronics are. Cause uh, clearly we are struggle bussing hard to figure it out. Uh, last thing to let me know down in the comments, submarine or outer space shuttle. Which, which is your preferred method of transport? Uh, so with all that being said, uh, I'm going to go unformal. Uh, Matt, you can take off your top hat and tails. I'm, actually, I'm not going to. You know what? I, I respect that. I feel pretty. You, you know what? Maybe every day is formal mm. day. I love dressing up. We should dress up more often. Okay. Okay. Cool. That sounds good. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Maybe I'll be dressed up in the next one of these. And as always, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!